this is Cindy. I'm the tireless tangler. You caught me coughing. All right. Welcome to my channel. This is the 2021 year of Zentangle. This is day 103. And we are doing the pattern cinch today by Lynn Wollaber or Wollaber or Wollab. I don't know. But Lynn. <laughs> Thank you for this awesome grid tangle. This is for my gridders out there. And we are just going to have a chill, non-organic grid day. But of course, I'm going to add my wonky version of this in. So let's get started. I haven't even loaded up chat yet. So hopefully everybody in chat is doing well. Um, I am still dealing with some um, technical issues. Um, I believe that our that our uh, internet is working again today, finally, uh, the way that it's supposed to. Um, I was able to get yesterday's video uploaded. And uh, so if you guys want to look at that, really, Cindy... If you guys want to look at yesterday's video, I looked at this while I was getting my nails done yesterday, and it was not a happy thing. I was, I was frustrated yesterday. It was a tough day. And uh, so, yeah, I uploaded the video. The problem with the video is I didn't get the autofocus turned off. So nothing went right for me yesterday, and I just wanted to come home and cry by the time I was done. So... Hi, everybody. I'm going to take some deep breaths. Oh, thank you. Do you like my nails? These, this is a gel polish that's called Cat's Eye. And they do, they have some kind of uh, cool little gadget that they put on here after you have dried this that makes this cool streak in here. And so, um, yeah, these nails are for Christiana. These are blue for you, girl. We'll have a little green next time. I've already decided. Yeah. All right. Is she even here today? Is Christiana in chat? Hi, PJ. How are you today? All right. So for today, uh, I just needed a non fi tile, um, very safe kind of thing to do today. So cinch was the perfect pattern. It is based on a square grid. It is easy to draw and we're going to have fun. I'm working on an original Zentangle tile. That's three and a half inches by three and a half inches or nine by nine centimeters. I am going to be using my zero one in black and my zero one in brown today. And we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get up to. All right, let's get started. Hi to PJ and Erica and Petra, Gustisch. How are all my German speakers doing today in Marilyn? Hi. All right. So for today, I want to start with our pencil in traditional Zentangle fashion, if I can find my pencil. Okay. And we are going to uh, put a dot in each of our four corners. And let me zoom in a little bit and see if you guys can see this a little bit better now. How is this? All right, so now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to put a great big balloon size, hot balloon size uh, uh, loop in my string or in my border today. Okay, so I am going to do three corners of straightish border lines. Isn't it funny how I always need the dots if I'm going to do something weird? It's me, so there's always something weird. All right, now I am going to bring this loop from this corner all the way over here, make a big balloon size loop in it and come back over here, okay? So let's see if I can do that without making a huge horrible mess. <laughs> no promises. So I'm gonna kiss the edges. 
if I can do it. Yeah. I have to go slow for kissing. <laughs> kissing should always be done slowly, right? <laughs> I'm in a weird place today. Don't ask me why. Just am. So big balloon size loop in there. I don't know why that had to be such a big deal, but there you go. Doesn't look like I've got good light on here. Let me just this good. Well, geez, I'm a mess today. You weird, no? Yes, weird, me. All right, how is this? Good. Okay, I can see it. How about y'all? So I'm going to start with my black 01 today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put cinch in around this bubble right here, this um, balloon shape that I have, this loop. So I'm going to start by inking my borderline. Let's see if I can keep this in frame. Okay. And then I'm going to put in my square grid here. Now you can do this wonky like I, I did a little bit of wonk in here, but I think uh, since we're stepping this out, we'll, we'll go for a uh, fairly normal. And if I run into this loop, I'm going to pick my pen up, travel behind it and go on, right? And so my next one would be about here. So my last one's gonna be about here. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this line. Again, these don't have to be perfect. And my midpoint line is gonna come out right about here. Okay? Is that clear as mud? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna turn my tile 90 degrees and uh, I'm going to go the other direction here. So inking my outer line, my border line, and then squaring these up as much as I can. And that one's not gonna show. When I come to my string line, I'm going to stop. And I need some more squares, so about here. And about, well, those are big, but that's all right. They'll be okay. And about there. I think that's pretty good. And so about here. For me, this is the hardest part. <laughs> all right, and this will come out right here. Okay. All right, now. Let's pick a square that's complete or a partial or a sort of a square. Hi, Syria and Marilyn and uh, Barbara, both of my Barbaras and Polly. I was talking to somebody about you today, Polly. All right. It was all good. It was all good. Okay. So what we're going to do is start in a nice squarish square and we're going to put these little flaps in from the sides. And so we want it to have a little bit of a concave curve. I don't know if that's an actual word, but there you go. And then on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. Now, I noticed on the step out art that, that uh, there are a lot of places where these points were not equal to each other. And the easy way to do that is to just start, once you've drawn one side in, start at the point and come down from there. Right? Hi, Cynthia from New Mexico. So these aren't perfect, but they'll do. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat this on each, in each square. So we're gonna draw the flap with the slightly curved edges. and just mirror that on the other side. Look for your point and draw the other one in to match. Now, they're not all gonna be the same. Uh, the wonkier your squares are, the wonkier 
uh, this pattern and the flaps are gonna be, but they're all gonna be fine. It's gonna work out. And as always, let me remind you guys that it does not have to be perfect. All right. So let's now go down to the next row and repeat exactly the same. All right. Just determine where you want that midpoint to be. Yeah, and again, these are a little wonky. It's not gonna matter, they're gonna be fine. I found that once you had drawn in the first one, the rest of them uh, easily go down from there. But I always start from my point there once I've drawn one side in. That's much easier. Well, I started with a curve here. I didn't end up with one, but let's curve this just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna pretend we can see this. Like this, that'll be partial. So we'll do the same thing down here. And then here will be the other end of that. And we won't be able to see that side, but we will be able to do this one. Yes, not too bad. So draw in one side and then start from that point and you'll get the most even results. If you don't care, then you can draw it how you want, of course. Well, you can draw it how you want anyway. Do you. Okay, don't forget this. And uh, this will be, let me not do that. Let me turn this. That's how I got into trouble with the focus the other day. And this. And this will be the line. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, now the next step. Let's draw a small aura inside each one of these little flaps, okay? Each one of these little um, triangle shapes. So, yeah, make it nice and neat. Take your time, take some breaths. Now I saw that Lynn on the step out had, had examples where she went from the line up and down and didn't entirely fit an aura in, but in the step out, this is a complete internal aura here. But of course, as always, you guys can do it as you will. All right, now it's a flap. This is a flap we can't see. So we might see just a corner on this one. Yeah. Just take your time, do a nice neat job. So I really want to apologize about yesterday. The videos were really awful. <laughs> Everything was awful yesterday, but I appreciate the fact that, that a lot of you came back anyway today, so thank you. So I played that uh, disturbed sound of silence um, version to, for Mari, and uh, he, he replay he didn't say he liked it. He, but he replayed it like four times. So that was a win. I guess we're too old for him to hang out with in live streams anymore. I guess if he needs money, he'll show up. <laughs> Otherwise, not so much, huh?
is it still like that today, um, Vicki? Is it is the video quality better today, or the or the stream quality better today than yesterday? Because I was really frustrated yesterday. I was really frustrated. Could you tell? I was really frustrated. I was. And I never did figure out what the problem was. Good. Some people are saying it's much clearer today. And yes, these are, you should be able to get at least 720p on these qual video quality wise. Thank you, Nancy. She's you guys are so wonderful. You know, I had I had an aide come in to to um, sort of uh, temporarily help out while while my aide Avery has been out, and we haven't had anybody in a few weeks, and it was so nice. But I was telling her about you guys, and 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 uh, I was talking about Polly as an example of you know what you guys had accomplished this year, and. So I was bragging about you guys. Okay, so now that we have these little internal auras everywhere, um, let's put in the last step, okay? So what we're gonna do is along these lines where we don't have anything drawn in yet, um, we're going to, um, Oh, uh, Ms. Oscara says, yesterday there were problems with YouTube and the internet. It wasn't anything I was doing wrong. I felt like I was doing something wrong yesterday. And Valerie said, yes, we we did a great job yesterday. <laughs> I need to go and look in group. I, I didn't have enough time. All right. Your diamonds with the convex, concave, whatever it is. Yeah, um... Yeah, you, you kind of have to, but you know what, Barbara, if you, if you just draw these straight as triangles, that, that works too, right? So you don't have to go too crazy. Okay, so last step. We're going to start here, and I'm going to go over under. So I'm going to make a curved half of a rice shape here, right? And then the next one I'm going to go over. from point to point, and this one is gonna go under. So over, under, over, under, or under, over, under, over. Well, that one was a little sad. That need to fix things, it's terrible. Okay, so this is sort of under, and so now we need to do an over. Okay, this was the only one that I got um, wrong when I first drew this was I had one spot where my over under wasn't right. Now, at the bottom, we want to mirror this. So when they're on the inside on the top, we want it on the inside on the bottom, okay? Like this, so they're gonna mirror each other. So this one is over, this one's gonna be under the line, over. And you'll notice the over also mirrors and under mirrors, okay? Inside, outside, inside, outside. All right. Hi, Patty. Welcome. Hi, Allison. Welcome. Okay, so down here, again, we're going to mirror. So this one is outside, so we're going to go outside down here, right? So this one will be inside, but we can't see it. Although I suppose technically we should be able to see parts of it. But I don't want to think that hard today, quite frankly, so I'm not going to. Now, down here, look here, we can, we, this is one square, right? We're 
on the outside here. And we're gonna go outside down here and mirror that. So this one next door is gonna go on the inside. Okay, again, don't have to be perfect, right? This is inside this, so we're gonna go inside. And this is why we pay attention to this, be not because it's, it's hard to do, but because uh, if you've got a wonky grid going on, then it can be challenging. So inside, we're gonna end there, and then downside. That one got a little short, but it's gonna be okay. We're gonna love it just the same, okay? And so the last step for this is to draw these little hatch lines uh, in here. And I want to do my, my embellishing or decorating or whatever with my brown 01, so I'm gonna change my pen out right now and change to brown. Oh, Christiana is here. Christiana, look at my nails. I got them this color for you, baby girl. There you go. All right. So with my brown pen now, I'm going to do these little hatch lines, these little straight R lines. I really want you to take your time with these. This is a very small space to make lines in, and uh, it's easy to overshoot where you wanna be, and it's hard to not undershoot if you're not overshooting, so. Um, and so we're just gonna fill these all with these, with these brown lines. But take your time so you do a nice, neat job. Okay. I love that dichotomy between the black and the brown ink. And I could have used a Renaissance tile, but I didn't want to today. We've used a lot of Renaissance tiles, so I wanted to use an original today. At least I've used a lot. You know, the back of Mari's Orville Redenbacher's popcorn, microwave popcorn box is white. Just saying probably means they don't use renewable stuff, which is bad. But I don't know that, so I'm gonna live in happy ignorance for until I look it up here in a minute. <laughs> All right, so easy does it. All right. I think the key to doing this well is not being in a hurry. Oh, I just had an idea. Ah. You know that's dangerous. Here we go. I also played with curving these lines just slightly. I don't know which way I like better. You, of course, can do as you wish. We are recycling them, so that is good. Yeah, that isn't much better than, than uh, not recycling, is it? So did you guys, speaking of renewable stuff, did you guys know that glitter that is made from plastic is very bad for the environment? Of course, all plastics, I'm, I'm assuming, are not good. But um, the plastic glitter, I guess, gets in sea creatures' bellies and makes them sick. And so there's some kind of new glitter now out that you can get on Amazon that's, that's uh, eco-friendly. So we should all switch our glitter out. I almost asked them at the nail salon if these were eco-friendly, but, <laughs> but I didn't. I don't need to make people too crazy. 
I do that all on my own. Carlito, how are you today, honey? I'm so excited about our shirts. I got on Teespring, I guess they are just spring now, yesterday, last night, after the live stream. And uh, they, they have it now where I can design things a little bit better on there. And so I'm really excited to uh, get the shirts going. Unfortunately, I can't see the template. You have to remove a layer and I don't have the ability to do that because I don't have a computer. Oh, Christiana says she had a tangling break with a colleague. That was fun. She wanted to learn bubbles and she did. Great. That's so wonderful. Good job. We haven't done, I've been, y'all have been asking for dew drops or bubbles or things like that. So we'll have to do a little tutorial on those. They're really not very hard. It's what we've been learning. Lights and shadows, right? Highlights and no lights. Let's see if we can obscure my little Bronx cheer moment over here. So I totally did not want to do day three on the Project Pack 11. <laughs> I knew Carlito would benefit from it, but I still didn't want to do it because it was Crescent Moon. A lot of Crescent Moon. A, a whole phi tile full of Crescent Moon. And I think we all know how well I don't do with Crescent Moon because, because of those auras. So I wimped out today. That doesn't mean we won't visit it again later. But I totally, I totally took the easy way out today. Plus, I needed a grid pattern. We've done a lot of organics. But be ready tomorrow to do another phi tile and for it to be organic. All right. So the other thing I want to do while I have my brown pen out, and this is the pattern, by the way. This is what the pattern looks like. Let me get it in frame. Okay. So this is your basic pattern, and now it's all about the embellishing and what you want to do with it, right? So uh, what I'm going to do first is, with my brown pen, I'm going to fill in my little arid spots here in these little flaps. And I'm going to do that with brown. This is what I love, the brown and the black together. My problem, of course, is I always forget to switch back and forth. <laughs> you guys know this. All of my zenders know this. And now I can't get the sound of silence out of my head. I have played it over and over in my head now. That is the best version ever. Get untangled. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore them. Go back to what I was doing. Got some glaze pens in the mail yesterday. I'd forgotten I'd ordered it ordered them. I forgot, I had forgotten that I had ordered them. All right. So we may see what we can get up to. I still have not watched that entire project pack, so I suspect that we might be able to have some fun with some other ideas from there, so. Hello, Angela. How are you today? Is Lynn feeling bad? I'm sorry. Okay, now, what am I missing here? People that, yep, I'm singing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I wish I wouldn't get a copyright strike. I would so play that. We could all get in the same chill frame of mind. Never thought I would say that about something from Metallica, but there you are. So there are going to be three videos with day 102 on them, okay? So the two horrible live stream things and and the video that I had prepared but could not get to upload yesterday. So you can see what's up with those if you want to. If, if you just want to forget all about it like I do, then, then you can move on. That would be fine. I've had more people coming coming in without masks on, and that's been so lovely. I can see people's faces again. That's like so awesome. Cannot get this in a spot that that feels right to me. And I saw just before I came over here that uh, Jody Genovese has another pattern called Wise. She's the one that did What the Well. She has a new one called Wise that looks like it might be fun to do, so I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, Valerie, who lives in France, she says today French restaurants are now open again, uh, but only outside in their in their open seating areas, like on their terraces and patios and such, which is awesome. I, you know, dining is a big deal in France, and I can't even imagine what it's been like with no no restaurants open. I can't even imagine Europe with no restaurants open. All right. Okay, now let's see. Let me, I'm gonna try to shift this light. It looks really dark to me. Do you guys feel like this looks dark to you? Is this any better? Well, I know one thing is I can see better, so we're going to leave it like this. Okay, 
Now, for the middle of this balloon, we're gonna make a crazy wonky grid, okay? And if you are new at wonky grids, you might want to draw yours with a pencil first so that you can sort of get the hang of this, okay? So I'm gonna show you with a pencil what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna start at this point and I'm gonna make these C shapes, right? And they're gonna go bigger until you run out of space. All right. And we're gonna turn this and we're gonna go back the other way. Now, what I did with this one was that I'm, I made it spherical, okay, by making these um, cross lines like this. Although we really have one point, so how do I want to? Do okay, hang on. This is why this is why you might want to try this in pencil. So I think I'm going to make these curve like this, and I'm going to start at this point. Oh, that might be a little bit much. Let me bring that back. Bring it back. Make it a little less crazy. And do I want one more? For shortening says I can do that. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so now with my brown pen, I'm going to redraw this grid pattern, but with this wonky grid, okay? So right now I'm just gonna ink over this. Okay, by curving these lines, these grid lines, we are emphasizing that this is a spherical object. Now again, you don't have to do this. You you may do your tile just straight up and down. Whoa. Straight up and down if that's what you want. That will be fine. I think I'm going to ink this line right here. Well, Mm, I'm not sure about this, so I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, now let's draw in some wonky flaps to go with our wonky grid. All right, so I'm guessing that my center point is going to be around this. So I'm going to come back from that a little bit, and then I'm really going to do a good curve in here. Like this, okay? And I'm going to mirror that on the other side. Now, you, you want to make sure you pay attention to the center point. Don't worry about the rest of that. It's going to take care of itself. Okay, so here. Yeah, and repeat. And so I'm putting my point down here because that's where it is. And what's going to happen is over here, this is going to look more, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully look more like it's going off the grid. Mari, I need you to get that, honey. Sorry, the dryer waited to go off until now. It likes to be the center of attention here. Now see how weird this one looked, but I stuck with this spot right here to match up my points, okay? And then I let the rest of that do its thing. Okay, I don't know if that's good or bad. That's the way I'm gonna do it. That one's gonna be kind of narrow to Aura on the inside, so. Keep that in mind. 
Now you'll notice this one I did not curve in because I really, in this situation, I needed to curve it the other way, so that's fine. Okay. Now, oh, one more over here. Okay, now these that are down here are going to be uh, problematic, right? So start. just pick one to start with. These are gonna be really narrow. And we may or may not be able to aura in there, I don't know. Okay, so these are mushed up. That's my, that's my word for the day, mushed. And so if these touch in the middle, I'm okay with that. All right. And we'll just pretend we know what's going on on the other side of that, okay. Now we're ready for our for our auras. A lot of O's and A's. Okay, inner auras now. Take your time, do careful ones so they'll look nice. Now, these wonky ones are gonna have different looking uh, auras, right? Whereas before, I tried to line them up in here, it's, n it's not gonna work, so I'm not gonna worry about it. They're gonna be sort of stretched and misshapen. So I'm gonna kinda let them do their thing. Okay. Sometimes you just have to cheat and fit them in where you can, and if you can't, don't fret. We are just going for the general idea here. The brain is going to tell the eye that all of these are squished up down here, so don't worry about it, and so that's what we're gonna let the eye do, is not worry about it. Now, yes, yes, sorry guys, I am in the zone and I am off screen, aren't I? I'm in the zen zone, you're right, Susan, I'm sorry, I'm off the screen, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm back, I'm back, I'm sorry, I, I was zenned out, it's true. It's true. Here we are up here. <laughs> okay, Polly. Made me jump. Made me jump, too. And y'all were yelling. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was definitely zoned out, which is the point. I was just thinking I need to check chat because I haven't looked for a while. <laughs> Did I mean to turn my squares? What do you mean? Oh, um, I didn't do it intentionally. Uh, I see what Nancy's asking. She's asking if I, if I intentionally turned this, this grid in here sideways to this one, and I didn't, but I'm glad I did do that because it does, um, it does shift the, the, uh, focus. Um, but it just, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> work with me today. Good question, Nancy. That is a very good question, but I didn't do it intentionally, but I'm glad it turned out that way. It's, it's going to make this much more interesting to the eye, I think. Okay. 
I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm just over here drawing and singing the sound of silence in my head so that I'm not bothering anybody else with it. I'm just in a happy place. Grid pattern. Friends on the line. It's awesome. Thank you, Angela. I got this color specifically for... No, I'm still getting there. I'm still getting... Uh, Ms. Oscara asked if I had intentionally eliminated the rice shapes. No. Or the half rice shapes. No, I haven't. I, I just haven't done them yet. I'll get there. I'm kind of thinking about uh, hatching them with black. I thought about doing these black, too, like I did on my example, but I thought it was too jarring. I don't know. That's that's uh, just a personal thing, just a personal preference. And you, of course, may do things the way you like. This is more about you guys getting some drawing time with some friends than it is about um, being a great artist, right? At least <laughs> that's what it is for me. I don't know about y'all. So I probably would have ordered uh, the step out differently. I probably would have done my rice shape second and then added my inner auras and such. But um, they do it the other way. And... So, um, this weekend, I am going to take Saturday and Sunday off, okay, and uh, hopefully have a video for Monday. We'll see. And if it's not Monday, who knows when it'll be. One more. You see this being at, at odds um, with with what's going on around it, like with the with these pointing a different direction. It's gonna make a. It's gonna make. Um, it's gonna make it more fun. I think. All right. So. I don't know. We're just going to do this. Um, and this is the part where you just make it up if it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, now for the little rice shapes. Okay, so I'm going to do this one under. No, I'm going to do this one over. And then I'm going to do this one under. And this one over. Perfect. And now this one, I uh, went, okay, so this is inside. And so opposites. And these are going to be weird, too, as we go down and get scrunched up more. Okay, so this is um, outside, so this needs to be inside outside, inside, outside. Okay, and I think that's all we can see. All right, so now I think I'm gonna change my black pen and I'm gonna hatch those little uh, partial rice shapes. And Let's go. Now I'm trying some some uh, sparkles and some curved lines here. You don't have to do that. I'm actually making a fairly large mess with this, so 
I may not do that anymore. We'll see. Let's go for it. Taking your time. Which is not so easy sometimes. I know who we're missing today is Nancy. She must be busy. Nancy Pierce, I mean. I know my Nancy P is here. All right. So shading is gonna be the main thing. And I've already decided I think I don't want to use my, my um, pastel pencils. I think I want to use my graphite, my tinted graphite that Nancy got for me. Nancy Gregg. I have a lot of Nancys. I've been blessed by Nancys this year. And Patties. I have lots of Patties. And Barbaras. There's only one. Well, I have Carla's too. Bunches of Carla's. You guys are pretty awesome. Okay. All right. Anybody yelling at me that I missed any place? There. <laughs> yeah. See? Now it looks like there's some down there. Okay. Now. A Carlita, a Carlito, and like three Carla Joes. <laughs> we, we are truly blessed. Okay, now. For shading, lots and lots of possibilities. So if you drew yours fairly largely like I did, and I do that on purpose um, because small grids make me nuts. But this gives us the opportunity to do some individual shading if we want to, if we really, really want this to be something special. We can spend some time with the individual elements. Right? So that's one thing you can do that's really, really effective when you when you have these sorts of situations. And the fact that I curved my lines a little bit helps me in this. If I if I went straight, like I did on these, uh, this effect is not nearly as uh, pronounced in my off frame again. Cindy, yes, Christiana, what up, girlfriend? Yeah, I like the black and the browns together. It's cool. Um, okay, Christiana, I'm watching. Tell me what's up. This is kind of whimsical, isn't it? Okay, so. Oh, I'm, I keep slipping. <laughs> what can I say? So let me adjust this a little bit. Maybe it'll be easier. Okay, now. Uh, let me think this through for a second. This is going to require some careful shading. Not, not, okay. Maybe I do want my charcoal pencils back. I don't know. Okay, so I'm starting with this rust colored, um, uh, color tint by Spectrum Noir, um, tinted graphite pencil. Okay, and what I'm going to do with this little balloon shape in the middle is shade that as an orb. Okay, I'll never know what you keep slipping off camera. It, I, I can't help it. It's, it's what I do. All right. 
we're gonna work on this. Hold on, hold on, let me adjust this a little bit. Point it down a little bit more, and then maybe that'll be better. Okay, I think that's better. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shade this to be a spherical, or at least that's the goal. So what I want is to put um, right along my outer line for this, I'm going to put this rust color. Now, if you wanna do this with a graphite pencil, this is gonna work great with graphite. And I probably will add regular graphite over this and then go back and forth with it a bit. So I'm gonna put a really, really dark line right along the edge on one side and you can pick whichever side you want. There's not a rule for that. Okay, and when you get a decent amount of uh, color, whether it be gray, brown, or whatever you're using, what you want is a kind of a, a peach slice sort of shape, a sort of a crescent moon um, amount of color here. And we want it to not come up too far here, but uh, a decent amount, right? <laughs> hey, no no buzzers with electrical pads for you people in chat. Carlito, no. No mas, no. It's no bueno. Bad girl. She wants to electrocute me when I make mistakes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Okay, now on the other side... I'm gonna do the same thing by, by doing this. Now, uh, you might wanna pencil this in before you start. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a drop shadow from this sphere. So you have to sort of imagine, right? If, this, if, if my light source is here on this side, right? Pointed this direction, then, then the shadow here is going to be really deep and dark, right, like so, okay? So we're going to want to cover this in this area right here. It does look like a hot air balloon. You are correct about that. So I'm going to put more of this tinted graphite over here where I'm going to make a drop shadow. Now, I am going to go over this with a graphite pencil or with my sketch and wash. Uh, because I don't want my shadows to be brown, but I do want brown undertones in them, okay? So that's why I'm doing this this in this in this way. Now, I don't know if it's going to be effective, but we're going to find out. Okay, so this shadow should be the darkest place right here. Okay, now, um, I am going to... Where's my, all right. So I'm going to take my aqua brush and activate some of this um, tinted graphite here. And I'm gonna do some layers. And I want this to stay where it is. Now, this will be one of those things, we don't want sharp edges on it, but we will sort of feather those edges out, excuse me, as we blend, so I'm not just extremely worried about it right now. Okay. Now on the other side, what did Nancy say? Oh, she's here. <laughs> PG-13, please, ladies. Now this, I do want to feather out. I really don't want a sharp edge on this. And again, I'll be adding more color, more dark, more shading on top. But I want to have a brown tint underneath it. All right, now I want to really work this edge so I don't have any lines on it. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, 
for the hard part. Nancy. No, uh, uh, Saudaka, this is, uh, not ink tints. This is, um, tinted graphite. This is a gift from Nancy. This is Color Tint by Spectrum Noir. It's a, it's a graphite, it's a colored graphite pencil. And that's, that's what I'm using it for. Yeah, uh, Valerie, I did it with graphite and, um, and uh, on my example, or on with the chalk pastels, and even though this worked okay, um, it was just a little bit messy for me, so I'm gonna try it this way. We'll see, we'll see what works. Okay, so with the same brown color here, here in this section, I want to put a very, very, actually, I wanna use a really light wash. Nancy Pierce, stop spending money, woman. <laughs> Eat some chips and some crisps, depending on what side of the pond you're on, huh? So I'm going to load this up, get it all nice and wet, and load this up with just a tiny bit of color, and then I'm gonna come in here and put just a, just a really light wash. That was probably not as light as I would like. Right down here, almost to the edge. Okay, yep, just like that. Okay. Now, I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit, and I'm gonna come in here with my graphite. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Do I want to use regular graphite or do I want to use my color or my sketch and wash? I kind of want to use the sketch and wash. Nancy's messing with me now. Hi, Shana. Welcome. You are not behind. You are right on time. Whatever time you get there. Wasn't that Gandalf that said that? Whatever time you get there, that's when you that's when you are on time. That's the time you're there. Um, where is my sketch and wash? That's really what I want here. That's not it. There it is. All right, now. Now we're gonna have some some messy fun. Okay. So I'm gonna go back over here with your graphite pencil or your sketch and watch, whichever is gonna work. And I'm really going to um, just, I'm smoothing this out. This is still damp. So I'm just smoothing the sketch and wash on top really easily. I really want this to be dark, even though it's gonna look ugly. I really want this to be dark. So our end result looks cool. Okay, so now I'm not an expert with the sketch and wash, and since I'm not, I'm going to blend this much and then see where I'm at. I'm also curious to see if it's gonna work with the uh, color tint. Hmm. Hmm is what I say when, I, when I'm reserving judgment. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I love messing with Cindy, Nancy says. We know. I was talking about you earlier and you weren't even here. I said, I know who we're missing in chat. That's Nancy. I knew Nancy Pearson was here, but yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, we're getting there. We're working on it. I might just take this right off the tip. I might want to let this dry first. I think that might work better. If I can make this line 
right here really dark. That is going to help this sense of, of spherical. Just be really careful you don't flick this in, in little bits all over everything, because I tend to do that. There we go. Okay. Well, Cindy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'll be adding more. In the meantime, I'm gonna take my regular graphite pencil and go back to this bit uh, that is sort of straight and narrow. And I'm gonna be shading over here, these individual elements first with these little hatched lines. And if yours isn't as big as, as mine, then you may, you may or may not be able to do this. It just really depends. Yes, it's, uh, the brand is Spectrum Noir, no, Lila, Noir. but any tinted graphite is, is going to be about the same, I would, I would assume. Since this is the only tinted graphite I have, besides the sketch and wash, then I, I, could, I can't be sure, but that's what I think. This may still be too wet, but over here. what I'm wondering about and maybe it's just me um yes Valerie has a question what's your question Valerie um and which difference do you find between those ones and some aquarelle pencils for example well that's the thing is I don't have any aquarelle so I don't know or, or do you mean is, are aquarelles are those just watercolor pencils um Valerie I don't have any, so I'm not sure. Thank you, Barbara, for the super chat. I really appreciate that. So I am uh, considering shading here on one side, and I haven't decided yet. So you might want to let me blend it out and see what I think, but I kind of think one side shading might be effective here. So let me find my tortillon here. Let's see. Yes, they're watercolor pencils. Um, that's going to be my next thing. Um, I, I don't have Aquarelle, but I do have some Prismacolor ones. 
and uh, we're gonna try some, some do some watercolor pencil playing around um, because that's something I really haven't done. Once I I had the Prismacolor uh, watercolor pencils, and then when I got my Inktense pencils, I was like, yeah, I'm done with those. <laughs> So, uh, but I do need to get them out and play with them a little bit and see what they can do and what they can't. So what do you guys think? A little shading on one side helps a lot with the dimensions, I think. And so let's do that. So I'm just putting a little regular graphite uh, right behind the flap on one side. Not too much, because I don't want to overwhelm this with graphite. But it's going to uh, it's going to add to the three dimensionality of this, I hope. Okay, so none there. Okay, so Barbara says she just got her graph uh, graphite tint. Uh, pencils this week and they all have graphite in each color so I'm thinking that the regular watercolor pencils would be lighter pure colors yes absolutely I absolutely these do have graphite in them and so the colors tend to be not as bright and vibrant and um, not as uh, pure color they they will be more muted and uh, um, it's, it, yeah, it's more for shading uh, just very subtly. I think I said the word subtle in yesterday's, in the video I uploaded this morning. I think I said the word subtle like 95 times in there. So um, hopefully you guys will get that I think that's subtle. Because <laughs> I used the, uh, I used the um, color tint pencils in that uh, video. I'm kind of lost, guys, without my 100 days project. I, I'm kind of lost. I mean, I had goals and purpose and all of that, and now I'm just sort of, yeah. I suspect I'm not the only one who's a little bit lost. That's why I've just decided to keep going, because um, I, I just missed it. All right. Okay, so what do you guys think of this shading on one side thing? I haven't blended it yet, but I will. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, that's part of this. All right. Okay, I think I got all my spots. Let me blend these. <laughs> What about a hundred more days project? I like it. <laughs> Another hundred days. We just call it the second hundred days. Come up with a fun name for me and I'll do it. Trust me. <laughs> I will do it. Well, it got a little crazy. I think I need to turn my tortillon over. Okay. Am I messing with the focus here? So Mari was going to do chat today, and then he then he heard I was going to be there, and he decided not to show up. No, I'm just kidding. He got a new game today when he got done with his schoolwork. So he is definitely not even playing that. No, oh, he's watching YouTube. Keep it clean in there, young man. Keep it clean. Mm hmm. What do you remember? Carlito's in here waiting to talk to you. He says, hi, Carlito. But uh, you said that, uh, that I would get something uh, since, I, since, I, uh, got, got, uh, since I did an extra uh, six cent. Wait, say that again? I said that I might get something uh, since I, I did an extra six cent. 
Oh, you did do an extra sentence on your on your writing today, didn't you? Yeah. Well, the day's not over, buddy. And I'm kind of busy right now, so could maybe we could wait and talk about this when I'm not. What do you think? Wait, the day has to be over? I said the day isn't over yet. All right. All right. The Zend of Days, <laughs> Susan. Or was that Patty? I can't remember. Zend of Days. I like it, Susan. Zend of Days. The Summer of Cindy. You guys are funny. You guys are funny because people are going to come to YouTube and watch The Summer of Cindy. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you. You know, I had to have a whole a whole big session with my therapist and discuss why my self-esteem is so low right now. What is going on with me? I had to stop and tell her, you know, they're so kind to me and and they and they think I'm so awesome and I can't figure out why. I really said that to her. Let me entertain you. Oh my god. They're they're on they're hopped up on crack over there in chat. No, they're not. I'm just teasing. This isn't about drug use. Just playing. Anyway, let's see. Now I need some more graphite. Let's see if this is dry enough. Okay, I think it's pretty dry. So let's try this sketch and wash again. Again. All right. What movie are you guys talking about? Zinfinity and Beyond? <laughs> the Summer of Zindy? <laughs> you guys. Uh, you guys are a mess. And I love it. I love it. All right. So, it is time to shadow this baby up. Hopefully, this is not going to wimp out on me. Oh, we got jets in the sky. Holy cow. The fighter jets from, from the Air Force uh, base near here are, are flying today, and they are loud. Okay, and I'm putting right underneath here, right behind this line, I'm really putting a lot of dark in the hopes that this will be somehow saved. <laughs> no promises. I am putting a very, very light. Goodness, I think they're doing maneuvers right above my house. Go away, people. We got art going on in here. The UFOs are coming to take me away. Are they landing in my yard? They might be. That's how loud they sound. What the heck? Can you guys hear those? What did Kimberly say? Kimberly says maybe it's not low self-esteem, but you are tired and your mind just thinks it's low self-esteem. My mind is such a liar. Wow. I have that too. It's my private jet. Can you guys hear that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear it. No, it wasn't a helicopter. Those are jets. Those are fighter jets. That sonic, that sonic boom sound. Yeah, this is better. Okay, clean brush and work those edges. No, don't do that. Okay, now, now let's do this big bad boy. Actually, let's take this on first and hope for the best. So I'm adding a little bit of graphite color 
here. Again, I don't want to go all the way to the edge. I want to leave a little, a little white sliver down there at the edge if I can. If I can't, and I can always come in with some jelly roll, I hope that, that can be uh, problematic. So, all right, so I am going to just work on this edge again. I don't want any lines. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this graphite from the other side up and see what happens. It is very important to um, practice positive statements about yourself. Thank you, Debbie, that is true. Well, and see, I know better than that business to feel that way. I knew that this was something that I needed to talk about because I needed to verbalize and sort of think it through and get to the bottom of why I was feeling that way. Draw this up. It is really black. That's all right. Keep that brush clean when you're working your edges. You do not want to drag in a bunch of color there. And to pull some of this out. Well, this is not my best sphere. But I am guessing that some graphite and some and a little bit of love at the end will probably help me out. All right. Oh yeah. Nancy said her husband used to work where I live. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um Let's see. Let's see where we're at. I definitely am going to be adding once this is dry. I'm going to be adding some white uh charcoal in this area to sort of um, get my highlight back in there. I sort of uh, encroach too far uh, in that with my color. And so hopefully that will lighten that up or maybe a white Prismacolor, but that's not my first choice because that, that will um, muddy up things. Um, they are talking in chat, they're talking about somebody going to jail. I'm like, I don't know who they're talking about, but it's not me, so I'm not worried. <laughs> Um, wow, this pen has been leaking goop everywhere. So any place I need to use my handy dandy jelly roll. Not yet. Um, I think I'm gonna wait until this dries and get after it again. I think there's lots of stuff embellishment wise you can do. Um, you could add more inking. You could, uh, you know, put a tangle in here, although that might be a bit much, but I kind of like this uh, the way that it is. Um, uh, I think once I get my shading sorted out and this dries well, then I'm gonna be able to blend out some of this mess. So, all right. Yes, do a fancy dew drop on that, on that balloon. I need to plan those though. I need to draw those in before I start tangling. So anyway, this is Cinch by Lynn Wollaber. Wollaber, I don't know. And uh, she's got several untangle un patterns that are pretty cool. And this was just a really relaxing, fun um, grid pattern today and I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. All right. So guys, we have had our drawing time together. Let's all admire my nails again. Ooh, pretty cat's eyes. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Anyway, <laughs> let's see what else is going on in, in chat. Lots of good stuff. Whoa, Carlito and Kimberly are headed to jail together, apparently. 
<laughs> I did admire. Admire, admire. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And um, you, are, you are welcome, Christiana. Next time I have a teal picked out uh, that you're really going to like. What is this? Oh, I've got a uh, graphite pencil on my nails. It's like, there wasn't any brown on these before, but yeah. Okay, so uh, there are in, in chat, there are links that Nancy has put into the Facebook group. Please, if you would like to hang out with this crazy crowd of mine, please come and, and join Cindy's Zenders. And we are working on shirts and all kinds of fun stuff. So... Thank you for being with me today. Uh, tomorrow will probably be a live stream day. It is Thursday and then Friday, I'm going to try to have a video for you and then I am taking the freaking weekend off and then I'll see you again on Sunday. I mean, Monday. <laughs> so, all right. And also on Tuesday next week, don't forget we are planning to do some more Zoom meetups. So if you guys want to get together and hang, it's not a lesson time. It's just a friendship time. Um, and we'll have some fun. Okay. Yay. All right, guys, don't forget to hit the like button for me, please. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Woohoo. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.